January 23rd marked the sixth month that I have been creating YouTube videos for your video indulging purposes. Video indulging? We just gonna skate right past that. Six months I've been creating videos and in this six month journey I have gone look after look after look after look after look after look after look. My YouTube videos have honestly had something different almost in every video. I was trying to like formulate this like look, this image that I could see up in my brain but could not get, you know, through the camera. I didn't know what I was doing wrong. And I, you know, I did so much researching, so many things I was trying to find like the right element. What did I need, you know? So I bought a light, I got other lights, I've been tweaking the lighting, I've been tweaking the camera settings, I've been just doing so much. And now, now, I feel like this is Justin Porter Media's look. This is my look. I switched the picture profile settings on my A6500. I've also adjusted my microphone placement, my lighting placement, added some lights on the background. So now that, boom, when the key light is off, you guys can really see what I'm doing to the background now. It's really starting to separate things and make things just look a lot better. Yo, 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 yo. what are you doing? Well, that was my, I was just trying to make my intro so get that- Get to the review, man. Well, get to like the my, review, okay. get to the review. Right. Today we are talking about the Pelican 1510. Oh. This beast. What's going on YouTube? If you're passing through here for the first time, my name is Justin and my channel is all about filmmaking tips, tutorials, and product reviews. And today we're talking about my favorite case to this day. To this day? To this day. The main reason I'm doing this video is because when I first got the case, I posted a story on Instagram, throwing it across the room at work with all my gear inside of it. Think I'm playing about the durability? <laughs> would you throw your camera bag with your Sony stuff in it, bro? No, you wouldn't. It was single-handedly the dumbest thing I think I've ever done, and I didn't expect it to generate so much buzz, but it did. I had like tons of DMs from people asking me what kind of case it was and where I got it from, so that's where we are today. The 1510 has a durable polypropylene body that's watertight, crush-proof, and dust-proof. It can withstand temperatures from negative 40 to 210 degrees Fahrenheit, literally take this thing anywhere. Traveling is easy with the polyurethane wheels and the retractable extension handle. One of my favorite things about this rugged beast is that it's also maximum carry-on size for planes, which means no stress when it comes to flying with all your most precious money makers. Throw this bad boy in an overhead compartment and you're GTG. Worst case though, if you had to check it, you wouldn't have any issues because this bad boy is made to be thrown. <laughs> It has crazy strong double throw latches and next to each one is stainless steel padlock protectors. The inside of the case measures at 19 and 3 quarter inches in length, 11 inches wide and 7 inches deep. Wow. You can buy this case with the foam, padded dividers or the Trek pack, but if you're packing camera gear in it, you'll definitely want to get the ones with the pads or the foam. I have one with the padded dividers for most of my camera gear because it's easy to move around and rearrange the pads if you ever need to. I also have one with the foam inserts for my A7S camera rig. The cool thing about the foam is you can cut out individual pieces so the gear fits custom inside the case. They also sell different lid organizers so you can truly utilize and pack every inch of this bad boy. Just so you know, they have made an updated version to this case, the Pelican 1535. It's basically the same thing, slightly lighter and a tad bit bigger. I'll be sure to leave links to both in the description below, so be sure to check those out. So the only thing I dislike about this case is the price, but you gotta understand, it's not a cheap build. It's not something that's not gonna stand up for just about anything you throw at it. So to get this case, it is gonna set you back about 200 bucks to get this version with the foam and about 229 to get this version with the padded dividers. However, protecting your gear, you can't really put a price on that. This is gonna hold up to almost anything you throw at it and it's definitely worth it in my book. That's why I got two. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button and make sure you subscribe so you can see more and I will see y'all in the next video. Peace. Peace.